Postgres 13 goes end of life pretty soon, and so I wanna cover how you can migrate Postgres 13 to Postgres 17. And these instructions really are generic. They can be used for other Postgres versions too. Uh, but let's jump in and just take a look how we would do this, particularly with logical replication and no downtime. So the example I'm gonna use is going from an Aurora Postgres database on version 13 to Planet Scale. And we have a doc that kind of goes over the steps for this. I've already done a bunch of the prep. So I've already created the Planet Scale database and set up the correct roles. And I've also already set up the correct settings over in Aurora. So you can follow this guide to make sure all of your settings are correct. And I'm just gonna show the more interesting part, which is the actual copying of the schema and copying of the data. So the way that we would do this is first, I'm gonna use PG dump to get all of the schema from Aurora, put it into a SQL file, and then load this up into Planet Scale. So I've already got a terminal up over here where I have the credentials for Aurora saved in environment variables. And so we're gonna copy this there and that will work. And then over here, once that is ready, it looks like it has done so. Do an LS, we see that I have that schema file there. So that's all my schema from this example, Aurora database that I have. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna just run this over here in another window, is use the PSQL shell to load that up into my planet scale database. So now it has created all of the appropriate tables and done the alter tables and schemas for that. So now schema is copied and during a migration, you don't wanna make any schema changes. So make sure you're not doing any of that during these steps. Now the next step is in this one, we're gonna set up logical replication. That's what we're gonna use for the data copying. And so that does require some config settings on Aurora. We have that earlier in the doc. You can go make sure those are set. So what I'm gonna do is connect to that Aurora database and then bring this command right over and run it. So now I have this publication, which essentially is going to be able to publish changes in the data itself from all of the tables in my database. And in this case, that's what I wanna copy all of them. We have instructions for if you wanna just copy a few tables, you can follow those. And then over on the planet scale side, I wanna make sure and subscribe to all of the changes as well as do a data copy. So that's what this SQL command is right here. I'm subscribing to Aurora, I'm giving it those credentials. And then I'm also saying copy data equals true, which means not just copy new changes, inserts, updates, deletes, but also copy all of the pre-existing data over as well. So I'm gonna bring this over to my other window here and run this on planet scale. And it created this subscription. It also created a replication slot over on Aurora. So now copying is set up. So I'm now logged into the planet scale database. And what I'm gonna do is take a look at the row counts for all of the tables over here. This is gonna take a little bit because it's essentially doing full table scans. And I'll also do that command over here so we can see what we expect. Okay, so that finished over here on planet scale and we can see that it's basically copied over some of the tables, but not all of them yet. So it's essentially still working on doing that initial copying of all of the data, that part hasn't completed. But then we can run this again to see an updated count, right? And sometime here, this is a small database, it's only about a gig, maybe a little bit over a gigabyte. So this one's gonna go pretty fast. Um, for larger databases, you could expect this to take 30 minutes, an hour, or even several hours, depending on how much data you have. So now we can see that all of the rows are copied over. So the replication replicated from Aurora version 13 to planet scale, which is in this case running version 17 as of recording, that's the latest version. And so yeah, the, the other thing I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna actually run a command that will do some inserts and some updates uh, on the Aurora database. So doing this uh, select now, so we have that. Let me run this again here. And we can see that some of these counts are actually changing because new rows are getting inserted. And if I do select over here, you'll also be able to see that if we compare the old row count to the new row count, new rows are getting added here. So anytime a change is being made, this is simulating like your app working on the old Aurora database, those changes are getting propagated over to your planet scale database as well. So you can keep this replication stream going for hours or days or even weeks while you test and make sure everything's gonna work right with planet scale. And then once you are ready, you can coordinate doing the cutover in your application. When it's time for the cutover, one of the things you may wanna use is the LSNs 
or the log sequence numbers to check and make sure is my planet scale replica fully caught up with Aurora but before you do the cutover. So the way that you can check that is on your source database, you can just do this simple select statement to see what that number is at. That's essentially like the log position. And then over on the target, we can use this command. And what we'll actually see in this case, because traffic is still flowing, this one is actually older than this one, right? But you would wanna make sure and just coordinate. Uh, you could do this by briefly pausing your application, sending rows to Aurora, and then giving it, make sure it has at least a couple seconds to catch up on planet scale. You gotta coordinate that in different ways. But basically, once you reach a point where you're confident that replication is fully caught up, you simply switch the credentials in your app and any other credentials that are connecting to that old database to connect to planet scale and then start using that as your primary database. Once you switch over, new rows will get written to planet scale and the old Aurora database won't get those updates, which is why you really want to make sure you test everything before doing that switch over. And once you're confident and comfortable that everything is working properly with your apps connecting to planet scale, you can then get rid of the old database at your leisure. If you have any questions about your migration or the migration guides, drop a comment down below or send an email to postgres at planetscale.com or reach out to our support and we will be happy to help you.